think, Saga. Use the case board to make sense of it. Wait, use the case board to make sense of what? Hold up. Like, we just got here. What's going on? Oh. Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. Okay. Sounds good. Is Tor okay? I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's get up there and find out, shall we? No, thank you, Mr. Wolves. Oh, lots of little Mr. Wolves. Ow! Got it. No places to be and people to talk to, man. Torin Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom that? only ever said my grandfather was bad news. Maybe this page knows a little him, bit more about that? Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. We hope they have answers at least. But that's okay, because here we are. To, to hopefully find some. Ooh. Ding dong. It's a little late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the oh. Rose? Saga? Why do you work here? I, oh, there we Hello, go. Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... Uh-huh. I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Why not? I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. Agreed. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. I mean, you I say that like it's your first that yet. time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, oh, we he's have a fine. He's Where living his clothes? best life. <laughs> I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Okay, thanks. Torn Odin are here somewhere. Yo, guys, where are the other residents? To find them. Do either of you know where I could find Torin Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. 
Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Oh, okay. Well, don't do that. Not to walk away. <laughs> I don't want to be an accomplice. He never let go or, I mean, of a witness. Hammer. When he got electrocuted, it looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. Her face was like, yeah, yeah, I can, I just did. Alright, anything else you guys? No? Okay, well, thank you. Are you uh, planning to... Go watch Definitely gonna run down. I'll just start, like, I don't know. Lunchbox? Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Thank you. I wonder. This is, I mean, this is clearly a shrine. And she's knitting the ornaments for Rose. Do we think Rose is the one leaving all the lunchboxes? It would make sense. Folks magazine journal. If you guys care. Hmm. So what world is a beautiful Alice? Is she your muse? Keeps me stable. Oh, longing internally. <laughs> okay, we found some lovely fan art stuff. Bad boy of fiction. Is it just because he writes like murder stuff? Anyway, Rose, you should really leave your shrine, like, I don't know, not at your job. Or maybe she works here so she can live here too. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Tor had abandoned everything. Yeah, they did. Can't wait for you to like learn. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. That's unfortunate. Did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? What's that sound? I don't know. Freedom. <gasps> Ilmo, look! It's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh wow! I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight. Better love making and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos um, full of hot coffee so, close guess. at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? Like coffee. <laughs> mm. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls blend organic coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally. Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the Old Deer Diner, and don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. I mean, I want to go have the brunch special. Why are we here? Oh, wait, right, visit our grandpa's. Not watch commercials. Come on. We have things and stuff to do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nothing? That's unfortunate. Tor? This is Tor's room. Let me turn on a light. Light, please? There we go. Hmm. A little bit ruined, ain't it? Shine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Madonna! Excuse me, Did you miss. hear anything? You don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? No, I I'm just here to confiscate your uh, bullets. Don't mind me. Goodbye. <laughs> Odin's in bad shape. Hey. He was drunk and watery. How you feeling, bud? Or is this something more serious? I don't know, but you're not letting me talk to him, so. That woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I born here? Wasn't there an Can arrow through Tor's chest? Uh, 
Uh, yes, I can hear you, but no, I can't answer you. Odin Abison? Sorry, I'm translating. Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Oh, Saga, I, I already said, I can hear you. I just can't uh, uh, answer. He's in no shape to talk. Okay, yeah, sure. Profiling him it is. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Mm. I would say my mind yes. Place even baffles me. Is this the reason? It's probably how you're like more than intuition behind it. Yeah, see, so like how your intuition was like, One oh, you stole a time, necklace, even though how would you Tor is in just trouble. decide that? You know. Once I help him. He can maybe tell me more. You might be able to use your intuition to be like, oh, she's dodgy. She's hiding something. But like knowing specifically that Tammy had a necklace in the beginning, I think not. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. Sounds good to me, but first, the clicker. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Okay, well. Out with that, I suppose. Let's see, we don't want to go into Donna's room. We already did tour. 
It came out in bubbles. Okay. I'll talk to her next, because, like, I do like bubbles. Poor thing. <laughs> Ooh, go ahead and a save and let's get going, shall we? Face will put a smile back on your face, my dear. What, the outside? Sorry? Oh. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. I'm gonna be honest. The South Island nursing home is old. Very old. The I didn't really put a smile on my face. During World War II to watch the ocean oh, for I Axis, anyway. navies, and who knows what else. Shoot his computer? That Ever wouldn't be very nice. The bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. Okay, well. Have fun with that. I'm gonna just investigate up here real quick, I suppose. Okay. I need to find the key. Locked. Also locked. Not locked. Nice. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, wait. There is something. Hold on. Note to self. Hide the thing with a nice little riddle like this. Better than any actual lock. Wait, what thing? Okay. What thing is hiding? Whatever. Mandy Mays room. Oh gosh. Look at all those ornaments she's knitted. Nice. Why do all these older people have bullets everywhere, man? Getting in is forbidden. For your own safety. Okay, Adi. Time is long for those who wait, but in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Thank you. Adi, how did you- Adi, this is your home. You don't here. need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a All right, so he's not just a janitor Why, then. Rest Interesting. Rest you are poor to work. <laughs> And you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. <laughs> Look at that, I don't know. <laughs> you enjoy that then. All right, Rose. My grandpa's in the wellness center. Let me in. Let's see. Mandy Man Norman said Taurus hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? Uh, it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh huh. I, I need see. to check Tor's room. I you thought said I did. I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly wasn't it like what torn you up? think she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left after the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course she is, Saga. It's useless. I need to stop the story. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Sounds nice. I'm gonna go. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. But my pop pop is in there. I mean, like, do it anyway? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Oh, let me in! Them both to silence, deep beneath the lake. 
Do you know where I could find Tor Anderson? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My pals. Merkele Vikings. Merkele. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. Merkele saatana en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Oh, you know what? I bet there's more for this. Is that what I'm missing? The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? We're gonna have to. What else do we Not like? Not sure I have a choice. I was gonna say, what other options do we have? We don't know how to wield the clicker. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Where is that? But they must be on here. Okay. I'm gonna assume maybe that's the knowledge we needed, and then we can like, hey, I know Tor's he's in there. in the wellness center, isn't he? No, <laughs> he's. Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just, there's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. Come in. Okay, I guess she doesn't have any more to say. Like, it said Watch skip. Out. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. There. Now um, it's not dark. Thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Oh, it's not even dark out here. Look, it's so lovely. Can I please? Uh oh. There we go. Thought I got myself stuck on that too much. I need something to cut this. Okay. I don't know why I need to go that way yet, but. Hello. Oh, why? <laughs> why the ominous sound? Dark. Empty. What is be going ready, on? Saga. I don't want to be ready. I want to go in there. Wait, can I open the front door now? Mm -hmm. Okay, well... I want to like slow loot some of this stuff just to make sure we have anything we might need for whatever bull crap is waiting that direction. Oh, is that a manuscript piece? I thought it was just going to be like normal notes. Hold up. Nope, that's not what I need. Normal notes. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker with them, left this monster here to stop her. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't need to know that. I mean, I guess it's good to be prepared, but also... No, no thank you. Ooh. 
Who was it? Tor was here. Doc, Rosamine found Mr. Anderson knocked out on the phone. Knocked out on the floor by the phone. Burned on his hand and cut on his head. Was out cold, so we brought him here. Mm. Oh, wait, there's other. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Now, why do you think, Saga? Alright, seems like that's all we can get out of this area. Can't be opened on this side. Okay, never mind. You like the rehab area? Honestly, I don't want to fight the giant. Oh, Tor. Tor, wait! It's me. Ugh. Is there anything on the sides? Oh, come on! An electric lock. This door must Looks remain like unlocked. It's controlled remotely during business hours. This place is weird. Like, why did we have to have an unsettling hospital level? Come on. Nothing? Okay. Can't tell if that's Tor, a giant I'm supposed to fight, or Thunder. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to assume here? This door needs a knob. What? A security computer. I don't know if I want the security computer or the knob more right now. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Uh-huh. So is, like, Vladimir's part of it. Isn't Blum the, like, whoever of the Valhalla retirement place? Okay, then. Oh, floofer. Lucky. Okay, what is this? I had to take care of the dead raccoon over the bunker. Smells bad. Okay. Acceptance letter is gone. Part of the game now. Month. He uses European formatting. What is this? I assume this is going to probably be the password I should at least like look what it is it's a password and a warrant technically but hey desperate times all right I get that it's European formatting but I don't know what day and stuff like I'm gonna need a little bit more than that I guess I'll just start with mind palace stuff like normally if I can't figure it out she does <laughs> so Odin said Tor needs help but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Oh yeah, see, deduction available. What do you I think it is? I need to figure out the password. Helpful. Thank you. All right, let's just try this again. Maybe it's whatever this was. Um, let's see. What is this? Do, 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 do. Day after the next new moon. Let's see, need a raise. This month will change everything. So August, the day after the next new moon. Where's August? New moon is this, so I'm gonna assume the 17th. Where's my computer? Oh, I need a year. What year is it in the game? Hold up. Uh-oh. 
None of that has a year on it. Uh, oh, 2023. Thank you, calendar. <laughs> Uh, 1708. And the doors are open. Is that all you have in here? Oh, there we go. I'm in a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you in the, at the green inside a bright glossy cage where pretty flowers bloom. So like, well, the entrance in a greenhouse or something? Riddle for your rifle. Okay, I see. There's a rifle in the room, so I definitely want it. We will have to deal with that later. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. What if he's the giant? Aww. Oh, I can't go that way. Whatever that was is horrifying. Is that the puddle she was talking about? Go away. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Body and soul wasted or something. I, 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 I'm not sure what he said. Oh, it's a reflection. It's not, it's not as bad as I thought. I mean, it's bad, but it's not, not quite what I thought it was. Okay. Alright, honestly, you know, you can just keep those for now. I kind of want to check this, like, I want to check the beginning of this place because I kind of feel like that has to be where, yeah, the blah, 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 meet you at the greet thing is. This would be the greeting place. Oh, is this open now? Okay, cool. What, do you, what does that say? I don't know. Something about coffee. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, doorknob. Cool. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, manuscript page. <laughs> Look at that. Getting lost worked out. Not sure I want to read Leo it, but Barrow here we go. Stared at his chest X-ray. It was in his left lung. It felt like a black hole, an opening to darkness. He felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gail was dying. 
the black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He Interesting. imagined looking through it. I think Gale is one of the locked rooms. The black hole grinned. Gale couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gale's sacrifice to it. In blood. Okay. And what does this say? Violent outbursts resulting in onset dementia. Uh huh. One, two. One, two. And then, yeah, okay, it should be right here, right? Nice. What do we got? Ooh, got a deer to pet. On greener pastures now. What a creepy little room to just have. Okay. Another manuscript page? It is. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's blood everywhere. What the fudge? Okay. Ilmo stood in front of the parade flush. Well, I already know this turned one. Turned dramatically to his name. I don't know why that one isn't counting as being read, but we definitely have seen it. See what else? I guess that's nothing new. Weird. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this. Cool. This awful little room. Right now, as long as we avoid the puddle, I assume we can get out of here pretty easily now that I'm done backtracking. Oh, this must have been Tors. Eep. Weep, 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 weep. No, thank you. Hello? Anybody in the pantry? No? Okay. Oh, it got dark. Tor, don't go! Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute. That water is bad for you. Tor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go! Rose about to get taken too. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Oh shoot! Tor, there's get your ass over, over here. here. Did and Cynthia explain. pull Tor in? What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Saka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember what? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this the story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Yeah, why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Alright, well... Rose. Um... Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Indeed I am. I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. 
I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh. oh and you'll well, need my keys to you. get around. Well, she changed her tune real fast, huh? Why didn't we just tell her, like, that Wake was back sooner? Saga jabbed the selector on the you. jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Yeah, I mean, can we use... Um... Do to do Rose's key fob on all of that? Who the fuck was that? Oh, I hate this. I'm choosing to ignore it. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. I see, same Standing thing, there, just like Saga actually in his voice. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken sinking into darkness odin had said that the song would be a way to no tour a way to find him a light bloomed in through the garden window that's where tour had vanished into the pond saga knew what she had to do yeah i get it before we go bug odin though i do kind of want to make sure that we exhausted everything with rose but I did kind of just leave, you know? Oh, God. No, we did not. Okay, we should evacuate. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I mean, that's I good, I guess. already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Which is horrible. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. I see. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up black stuff coming out <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too does and Cynthia have that? any connection to the cult of the tree <laughs> oh no she's way too frail for that but she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness well after Alan but I guess it finally got her you're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around aren't you mm. guilty they were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Yeah, like, I appreciate Wake it because I've definitely been taking it. Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. And just don't think about it. Alright, thanks, Rose. Anyway, so now that we're 
exhausted of conversation with her. I feel much better about using your key to break into the rest of the place. I do want to see if everyone's out here, though. Like, maybe the disappearing person wasn't so sketchy. Oh, there we go. Hey, guys. You Do all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Ati, Gail, Cynthia. Wait, Ati? If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Okay, Have I'm any sorry. of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. I sure am. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, oh sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. You said at some point. Though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. Yeah, we'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. I would love that. After we, like, are done. Mandy May, are you alright? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. I didn't even oh, notice no. at first. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Okay, well. Have fun with that, then. That's a lot of blood for a simple poke. No, not that. This. Which was the room that I was allowed to save in? Not this one. Maybe I can't anymore. What about that? <laughs> Weep! Oh. Uh, okay. I. I just want out of this place, honestly. Is this the break room? No, you know what? Screw it. Something on the T. No, that's the jukebox. I'm coming, Odin. The newspaper on the ground. Yeah, and I want to go see if Audie's okay. I have the keys. I could unlock his room. What is? Why does it sound like that? Hello? Audie? Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Okay. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> okay, thank you, Audi. Anything else I can get out of here? You really should go join the others, though, man. I don't know why you're up here. I'm gonna be honest, I looked too quick and got spooked because I saw these and I thought they were heads. Oh, okay. Gail? 
wonder if Gale was the guy in the puddle in the wellness center. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leak started appearing. Hmm. Well. Very tried. Templates. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. You go to the basement and check out. the generator. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. Yeah, thanks. The basement. Key fob's no good without power. Oh, I see. I really want to go in there, too. Where even is the basement? Maybe we can talk to Odin first. Maybe we'll get some more information to continue on our way. Story? Oh, right. We probably talked to him in here, right? Because he's kind of out of it. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. All right, I mean, we got some useful stuff, but not enough. I guess we can just head back out this way instead of trying to I know that sound instead of trying to get that open we'll just come around because I think all the gates are bolted and I assume maybe after we're done with this area oh God, it's a bunch of just old people no come on They're trying to kill me too, so. Think this really isn't all that effective. I kind of want to change. Yeah, this is so much more effective and I get my stuff back. Okay then, let's go ahead and reload. And then, yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on, I suppose. All right, that's the wellness center. We don't need to be there. I think it's over there. Yeah, good, good. Creepy old fun basement. This is every gamer. Oh, God, that's gross. Okay. Mm. Shit. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. I think we have a lot of issues happening right now. I suppose I could just go through here, can I? No. Let's see, remember to buy more fuses. Great. I 
already used a fuse. I hope I wasn't supposed Wheeler to save that. Wheeler used to be that. the agent of a manic, depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Mm -hmm. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Well, I'm glad they're living their best lives. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. There better be, because I don't have one saved. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Okay, I can go under there. Can't be opened on this side. Alrighty then. Under it is. Wait, can I open this from the side? No. How funny would that be, it be if that was a mob bucket that could change to Alan's reality? Oh, spare fuses are locked away because someone oddy keeps stealing them. Food is in the laundry room. Is the laundry room even down here? Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom. Touching things. Touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, mm -hmm. beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Okay. Hate that. Hate this even more than that. What the fluke? Is that another puddle one? Oh no. God, I hate this area. <laughs> Thomas Zane looked just like Wake. Is this why Odin keeps calling him Tom? Maybe. Aw. Alright, well I have no idea, so. Continue on, shall we? Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her. Afraid she'd break her hip. Like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close. To hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear. My lantern. I think I've lost it. Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. A voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, 
She was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. I see. So she's the, um, the one at the window that was like talking to us and waiting for us. That's unfortunate. Hopefully she's still up there. Is she also the drowned one in that hotel scene? Oh, it is 273. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Cynthia. I'm gonna run to this. Do, 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 do. The faster we get out of here, the better. Thank you. Okay. No. Oh, there's a projector. I kind of would like to see what it- the power's off. Oh, right. I guess we have to come back down then, maybe? Maybe it goes just like at the start somewhere? Shit. Key fob's no good without power. I know who this is. No name tag. Oh, in here. There we go. There. Power's back on. Yeah, feeling safer already. Go ahead and put one of these batteries away. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rifle away for now, honestly. I think maybe we can get it back out when it's boss time, but I don't know if that's super necessary with the shotgun and the handgun and everything. What? I don't know. Oh, it's Casey! That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? So a writing room. All right, let's get out of this place. There is that one area at the start-ish that I kept trying to open with the key fob. Beyond that, I think we're free to just leave this hellhole. <laughs> oh, what the? Scared myself by accidentally backtracking. I just wanted to see what that. Oh, it's just a closed something something. Okay, probably. Now oh, this. Now I keep saying it, but I hate it here. <laughs> I don't know how to get out. Is it just me or would anybody else also be like full blown panicking at this point? Just not having it in this area? Like, uh, not, not necessarily in the game. Right, but if you were here and this was your job. Shit, shit. <laughs> Careful, Saga. I'm creeping or not? That's can't deal with it right now. Okay, Cynthia, I have a flare and I'm not afraid to use it. Can I just go back into the house now? I assume we need to get to her room. Flash. Because we have a couple of things to do. We could get the record. We could go to her room. I kind of want to try to go into the room that Audi told me. told me not to. It's not too late. I'm going to save my daughter.
Wait, can we save Cynthia if we go in here? I don't think so. Just an awful black bathtub. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. I see. Tom might not be a helpful good guy after all. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Hey, that's where Alan took his, like, I feel like I'm missing thing. some context here. A power station. Hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry about Saga. Happened when before you got here. Tours a romantic, huh? Anything else in here before we keep on keeping on? Ooh. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Can I read it? I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep it up any longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamps. I know it did. She wants Tom back. The shadows are moving. There's no more light, no more lamps. It's just us, Tom and I, forever. I found something funny while I was down there, a newspaper article about Tom, but I called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet, a magnificent poet. I dug around. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. Hmm. A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? <laughs> no. Okay, wait. Is there anything else I needed to, like, find in here? I don't remember if there was a real, real reason for coming in here or not. You know what I mean? Go ahead and see what's going on. Nothing? Okay. I'm just gonna go to the record room for now. Or the museum, not the record room. Same thing. What do you got in here? Ancient muses, how's the reception? Probably about their comeback, right? What is that? Hotel rooms and ruined pools? Makes sense. Wait. Member dead? Bob Balder, the fat guitarist. Hmm. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Will she? Because I was just in there. And she didn't tell me shit. <laughs> Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Interesting. Okay, what about where the is record? Angus remorse now? 
That thing, I can get it out of her. The gift from Tor, maybe. Anger's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. I mean, I get that, but I was already in the tub, so. Oh, you know, maybe I had to do this first. Okay, now it manifested there. We're good. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Okay. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. I mean, he is in the dark place, so it does track. Can I have that? <laughs> Thank you. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Yeah, I do. I need to discover more about my past. I mean, something about Alan. Please stop screaming in my face. Sorry, Addy. Aw. Really? Damn. Hey, do you have the key for that room? No? Okay. All the way back down we go. Hello to you too. I'm just gonna put this. What is it? Okay. Was that it? Oh, it's a water one. Don't go back in the water. Don't go back in the water. Shit. Are oh, you not? Stay in the water, actually. I don't care. It's convenient for me. I can just pop this bad boy in. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror. <laughs> the cobweb. Good way to like get them out of the water. Oh, it takes so many shots. Holy crap! Oh, all I had to do was walk outside. Damn. Okay. Yep, here we go again. Yep. Too bad we didn't get to listen to more of that song. Okay, gone too soon. Body of missing youth. Nora Hesberg. Incident occurred in the gathering of the youth in the bunker. Okay. Great. We're in the bunker of the girl who died. That's somehow even worse than like everything else we've been doing. Okay. Is 
Nora about to be our boss because... Ugh. Wait, is our daughter named Nora in this? This isn't real! Beware the drowned lady. Fuck this place! Okay, I'm assuming that's just gonna loop forever. We're just gonna not go that way. Lose. Guess thou wantest to party. Anybody? Your bottles. Must in peace. Lights. Ew. That was yucky. Now the lights are on, so that's cool, I guess. The wall oh. just disappeared. The light did that? Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe that loop's not a loop anymore then. Or maybe we just go through here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, destroy what? It's a loop. Are we like gonna slowly thing. like make I this more and more um flooded? Cynthia, she's here. Okay, I'm assuming that it's always gonna not be but it has to be. Doesn't it? Yeah, okay, that's... Through four, and lady or like child. If this is the only way I saw, so like I'm just gonna have to try it. A dead end, okay, or not. Okay, yeah, this is new. Nice. Like, oh no, I'm super lost. Oh wait. <laughs> no, I'm not lost. It's just new. Locked. Darn. He has to be nearby. I'm gonna assume it's through whatever wall this leads. Okay, where's the key? Maybe in here and then I go back? No bullets. Okay. Key? No. Nah. Oh wait, is this where I finally get bolt cutters? Okay, okay. But it's all locked. Uh. 
that sound like a key to anybody else? Yeah, nice. Okay, so I can probably just... God, does it get dark. What's in here anyway? Oh shit, bolt cutters! <laughs> nice! I mean, I figured we'd be getting them soon because of the, the like, the way it was, but... Does that take up room in my inventory? No, thank god. Okay. Alright, I think I turned this one back off and then this is the room I needed them in. But it's also kind of hard to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Thank you for being patient while I deal with this. Yes, throw your tan temper tantrum behind me. They are dimmer! Goodbye! <laughs> Have fun up there. It is a great place to live. Yes, yes. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go, loop de loo. <laughs> Here we go, loop de lie. Here we go, loop de loo. Oh, on a Saturday night. God damn it. Another looper. Back again. Gotta go deeper. I don't want to go deeper. Every time we go deeper, there's bosses, man. I want to stay right up on the surface. Granted, I don't think we could ever, like, go back. Oh, I also do think it's a little bit more flooded, though. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Okay, well, how does one do that? So damn dark down here. Dark. But the water. She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You pushed him away. Kill! Bro, I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming that we can get dragged under, which would not be a great thing. Okay. Is it in there that I need to go? There must be a way to get the power back on. I'm trying, Saga. <laughs> I can't help it if I'm lost and confused. Oh, if you're gonna drown, just drown already, old man. I'm doing my best. Eepa. She's under the water. And we're just gonna have to. Like, I hear it. I like. Yeah, I don't really see a way to like turn it on though. Wait, here's a little. No, this is just more like... Okay. Oh, I can go up here. Nice. Can I pull this? Thank you. Jeez. I'm not 
leaving you here, Tor. Hold on! We're gonna try. We we'll probably make that. Go, 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 go. Deer splashing. Alright. We made it. It's cold. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Oh nice. Okay. Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything. No, it's okay. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Okay, where am I going exactly? There's stairs over there I want to try to get to, but... Yeah, okay. Wait, is it this? No. Do 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 Oh shit, no. I was just trying to brush my eye. Ah. Uh, hate this. What even? With light? No, water, I see. Okay. I really should try to heal the next time I get a chance. Weird light orb crap. Now that we're almost out of ammo. I wonder if there's anything I'm supposed to be doing, like, specifically, ouch, besides, like, surviving. Where'd she go? Okay, there seems to be, like, these things. Give me back my arrow at least. Bit 
sad that all the like tents build up for this in the two areas we explored. Like, this isn't that scary. It's just kind of like sporadic. I don't know. I guess I expected a little bit more in the horror. Oh, the god. No, 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 no. Stop moving. Oh, nice. Okay, she's on the ground. have no ammo like woman man Write her out. Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. <laughs> Tor. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Hey, I tried, man. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> uh, of course you do, sweetie pie. I was gonna say, where do we even start? Investigation answers. stuff, family stuff, whatever happened down there in the lake with Cynthia stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, all of those lovely questions of ours will have to be answered in the next episode. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys soon for more.